I'm swinging out the house, chilling. You know what I mean? Doing my thing. Meditating on a late night. You know what I mean? Man, just uh, trying to get it in, you know. Um, been working on a lot of different new projects, you know, a couple new songs, Wicked. Uh, picture me in a, a song called July. Yeah, this is Mr. Smooth. Coming from me in Wood, California. Like I said, I'm lodging up in my crib. You know what I mean? Doing me. My little penthouse getaway. You know what I mean? And I uh, had a show this weekend, you know, at the Palm Springs with uh, John B. You know, I kind of opened up with John B. Must say it was a disaster. I must admit that was my first worst show. Uh, you know, uh, it was just one of them things, man, that 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 occurs, you know. Um, you know got my song in the background, you know, I, mean, I hope y'all enjoying this. But, uh, yeah, it's just the sound man really didn't have my, you know, music on my, we didn't really get a chance to do a sound check. I had a live band for the first time. I tried the uh, headpiece, you know, cordless headpiece, and uh, it just didn't sound like the, the show was it really my best performance but you know hey, you don't have those when you're in the entertainment business you want to flop sometime and you guys to just lick your wound and keep it pushing baby that's what mr smooth doing but anyway um you know i'm just like i say working on new projects um as you see it gotta be a better way it's pushing uh you can download this song right now for 99 cent on iTunes under Mr. Smooth, gotta be a better way, or gotta be a better way, Mr. Smooth. Uh, that's under Universal. I have a new, uh, couple of new projects. Uh, it's so beautiful. Uh, I'm still a gangster. Wicked, wicked is my newest beast. Uh, still unfinished, but. Uh, and what I plan to do is probably put a small project together for myself, but my whole goal is to be a writer. I'm an actual true writer than an actual, I can say, uh, singer. I'm going to be 100, you know what I mean? But uh, from all the bad acts and the sound I hear out in the industry, I feel like I can create a good enough sound to... Uh, be able to sell, you know what I mean, to actually have a good wholesome product for you to listen to and won't kill your ears with. Uh, and like I said, this is just trying to uh, somehow cipher my music into the industry with a little bit of me. And hopefully one day soon I'll be trying to work with some, 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 some other some already established artists that uh, would take a risk with my songs. And I know I have some hot pieces for them. So it's just an opportunity to get it in their hands. They listen and they, you know, um, just hey, gravitate to the song and put it on their album and, and have it hit. But anyway. So, uh, you know, this is just. Uh, my time of meditation, like I said, I uh, just recently cleared my house out. I had a semi visitor. Um, it didn't work. I had to let it go. You know, but uh, you know, I'm a single man. You know, out here trying to, in a sense, of establish myself as a, a true writer to the R&B game, to the music game. Uh, you know, without selling my soul, you know, keeping it 100, you know, in the street, and just, um, just trying to make a life out of my gift that I have. Uh, I have a lot of different projects. I have a clothing line with my son, that I like to incorporate, but I'm going to keep that a secret for right now. Every time I, I also have uh, turn that down a little bit. I also have uh, uh, you know I'm a true clothes salesman, so you know I might be opening up a another 
Stewie's clothing store real soon. But, uh, you know, uh, those are just projects in the mix, you know what I'm saying? You know, this is just how uh, my minds are focused. You know, I one day hope to open up a non-profit. If you guys help me, I can help the world. I had to take my money in and do something positive with it, open up some businesses, try to employ some blacks. Uh, open up some non-profits. I like to do an after-school program for the kids, uh, and a morning program for the adults, the teenage adults that need some type of job training, some type of re-educating, some type of, you know, just uh, literacy classes, uh, GED classes, you know, music classes, things that can really benefit a person as an individual. Um, you know, these are my goals, and it ain't all about just the music, it's about trying to bring back the, uh, what I'm trying to find, is uh, bring back the actual um, too many of mankind, especially in the black race. You know, we have lost uh, our touch with life to where the point where you know it's all about what you already have, and if you don't have, a lot of people are not. Trying to help you to get it. So that means you have to, in a sense, uh, make your own choices in life and establish your own dreams and aspirations in order to create something that would be worth putting it out in the public and becoming a successful person at what you do. I mean, you know, I might not never come become successful. My goal is to really uh, get a hit record, hit song, and leave. And not leave, but actually, when I decide to check out, uh, have something established for my sons and my family. You know, uh, that's what it's really about. Trying to take these last days of my life hopefully, in the last 20, 30, 40 years. And uh, empower my sons and all of my loved ones. You know, like, so, no further ado, I hope you guys enjoy my news. This movie, this is Banksy, what you listen to right now. You know, I just uh, try to do my thing in this industry. I don't really want a lot of fame, but I do want a lot of money. So let's get that understood. So to all you guys out there in the industry that need new songs, check out some new talent, man. Some new songwriters, man. I got a book full of songs already written. All you got to do is listen to the melody and, and say that you like it and we can do it. Let's co-produce. You know what I mean? Together. Collaborate. I'm open to this, y'all, to all my artists and friends out there in the music industry. The executive producers, the PR people, the A&R people, you know, hey, call Mr. Smooth. You reach me at 323-947-8777. I said 233-947-8777. 8777. Also, you can check me out on Reverb Nation, Mr. Smooth One. Or Google me, Mr. Smooth One, and you will instantly get free samples of my music. Hey, 
I appreciate you guys taking this 10 minutes out with me. And y'all have a nice, beautiful night or day. I might get used to this giving y'all an interview once a week. That'd be cool, huh? We'll check that out. Until next time, peace, love, and hey, Grace, girl, get that nap together. Anyway, <laughs> do, 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 do. Like a damn food. That's how I read it. I put in applications and nobody called me back. My phone is about to be disconnected. Hold on, let me get that story. And if I don't come up with no money soon, I'll be out there on the street. Hanging on the side of the freeway, begging for food to be extolled to the city. Let us stand here to be extolled to the city. I don't know what to do. It's good to say in the city. I'm crazy, y'all. Sometimes I get a little crazy. But don't mind me. Mighty around these streets. Peace. Deuces. It's those in the